Good morning YouTube. It's early on a Saturday morning and I'm out making encaustic medium for you. Um, my medium is pretty simple. I use the Mar Crystals as well as beeswax and I use the 4 to 1 ratio. I will be making um, about using about 16 pounds of, well not 16 pounds, but grief, uh, 2 pounds of wax and 4 ounces of the Mark Crystals. What I'm doing is um, melting these in my electric griddle, a new trick I learned. No one told me that you could melt it in an electric griddle as opposed to standing over the stove doing the double boil or hot pot thing. Um, the do double boil is probably safer. Um, you're less likely to overheat your crystals in your wax. However, it takes longer. And being that I have not that great of an attention span, I tend to wander off and do other things. I need to do this as quickly as possible. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually melting the Damar first. I've found that it actually melts quicker on a higher heat alone by itself. Um, I used to crush the Damar, but when you're doing it in the electric griddle, I found that you don't have to spend waste that time crushing it to powder. It melts fairly quickly. Some people um, will make their bees their encaustic medium by melting the Damar, adding a little beeswax, and then continuing to melt the Damar. I tend to melt my Damar almost completely and I'm using roughly between um, two, 200 and 250 degrees I'm alternating between them depending on how bad the smoke gets so you still don't want to inhale the fumes from the Demar either no more than you would want to from the melting beeswax so as I mentioned I've got that going. I actually turned it down a little too low, so I'm turning it up to 250. Um, got to melt this. It'll take hmm, a few minutes to get this melted, and then once it's melted, I will add my beeswax. Okay, my Damar is fairly melted in the liquid state. I had to bump up the temperature to about 300 degrees to get it melted. So now what I'm going to do is reduce the heat because I want to start adding my wax. And um, wax over 250 degrees is melting wax is toxic. Um, one other thing about melting your, making your medium outside. I am outside. It is not windy, but there is a breeze. You still have to be careful about toxins in um, inhaling this medium. So make sure that you are standing upwind of your medium because you don't want that toxin. You don't want it blowing directly in your face. Um, I probably should have my mask on out here and the whole nine yards, but I don't. Just a, a warning. Just a safety tip there. So now that I, my Damar is melted, I will begin to add my beeswax. And I pretty much just add it all at once. It met, melts fairly quick. Uh, actually, I won't add it all at once. I'll add some of it and get it melted with the Damar. Uh, I am going to leave it on the higher heat to keep my Damar melted, but as I add more beeswax, I will begin to lower the temperature. Because adding that beeswax did um, start making my Damar solid, and I don't want to do that fight of um, solid Damar. And it is um, fairly cool here. I think the temperature is around 65, somewhere between 65 and 70 degrees this morning. We have been having some pretty hot weather, and I had not been out doing anything with the encaustic medium because of the heat just too unbearable so I am kind of fighting against nature here in my the Mars cooling but I don't want to turn my griddle up too high and um, accidentally and overheat my beeswax so I'll get that going and it is starting to melt. I'm going to bump it up just a little bit more back up to 300 again. Pay very very close attention um, if you are attempting to raise these temperatures. Um, 
some of the toxins um, just because you don't see smoke does not mean that toxins are not being released um, a lot of us put down our guard in regards to that and I will post um, a link to um, a story Oops, sorry about that um, like I was saying, you have to be very, very careful about the, <clears throat> the 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 temperature you're heating your wax at because even though the fumes may not be visible, they're still quite toxic. And I will post a link to my blog and <clears throat> tell you the story of how I managed to put myself in the emergency room um, one day while attempted to clean up a beeswax spill. Um, it was quite frightening but I'll put a link you'll see a link up here somewhere here or whatever um, a little later. Um, but I've got the first set of beeswax melted. Um, my dark Mars Perlin melted. Um, thermometer you really do need to keep one of those handy. The only problem I find with the griddle is that I don't have an easy way to hang it on so <clears throat> it doesn't stay on so I usually just lay it on the side and start taking trying to get a reading because again you don't want to heat that beeswax over um, 200 degrees in temperature I think I said 250 early I was very incorrect that's 200 I'll go back in and edit that and make a link but you don't want your wax over 200 degrees keep stirring until you're um, the Mars felt it's melted pretty well. No lumps. I'm starting to have all kinds of bugs come around. Um, yes, but one other thing about melting this Demar outside. You will attract insects. Um, the Demar and the beeswax tends to be an attractor of them. Before this morning's over, I expect my table to be surrounded by all kinds of creatures attracted by the sweet smell of the beeswax. I don't know if it's so much as the, the Demar as it is the beeswax. But now I'm going to add the rest of my wax. The temperature on my skillet is close to 300 degrees. Um, my wax is still pretty low in temperature. It hadn't reached 150 yet. And I think I'm having to keep my temperature on my skillet up a little bit because it's of the breeze out here is keeping it pretty cool. So I will spend a little more time melting this and then I will get prepared to pour, strain my um, wax and my damar into um, the tins to cool. Um, see you in a